Where are you from? You know, like, where are you really from? <laughs> no, you know what I mean, like, where are your people from? When I was asked that, I would dodge a question and try to make my race irrelevant. Because as the only Asian Pacific Islander woman in my entire graduating class, I had to make sure I didn't act too Asian. Because if I did, that was social suicide. I stripped myself of my cultural identity until I didn't know who I was. Suspended between two cultures and rejected by both because I'm too brown to be a real American and too white to be a real Filipino. And my Filipino skin, my Chinese eyes, my Spanish nose, my American tongue, my body and my existence are testament to the works of colonialism and the search for a better life. And my body has this complicated historical narrative etched into my genetics and I carry a story that I don't completely know. Because your love cuts me and lets me know that I don't belong with you. Perpetual foreigner in my own country, country of birth, that is the story of Asian America. Now I'm a Balikbaya, returning to a home that I've, ever, that I've never known. Country of my ancestors, and still, perpetual foreigner in my own country. Raised outside of the motherland, equipped with a different language, the mother tongue is a tune I've always known. Something so inherent in my veins, it's yet a song that I cannot sing for myself. My ancestors, my American mouth bastardized your memories. How can I pass on our culture and the history I failed you? Force fed a language that isn't mine and hurting you with the same words our colonizer used to subjugate us. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask to be raised partially Filipino, I didn't mean to. Can I ever achieve an identity that is not hyphenated? So ridicule my American stain Tagalog, my broken Tagalog, my accent incriminates me. My self-infliction cause of my linguistic friction, culmination of colonization, I figured I brought this on myself. My blood, my heritage, my upbringing, 20 years of my black hair and a sea of blonde means I am forever subject to the implications of my culturally ambiguous childhood. Intersecting identities, the only aspect I can anchor onto is a part that I don't necessarily want, but I'm told to be thankful for. You're the prized American, the hyphenated American, the culturally out of touch American. Mutual rejection spurred by mutual misunderstanding. This is a result of the diaspora.